Hi everyone, my name is Blanca Valencia and I am a leader and volunteer at Gateway Pflugerville. I'm super excited to be with you for day 12 of the Pray First series where we're continuing in our conversation on the tabernacle. Today's focus is going to be on the table of shoe bread. Shoe bread is a word that is derived from the Hebrew and it means bread of presence. On a weekly basis, shoe bread was baked and laid out in the Holy of Holies where God's presence was. Now you got to remember, bread was an important staple in people's diet at this time, and it was literally a source of life. There was said to be one loaf for every one of the 12 tribes or all of God's people. And then on the Sabbath, the priests would come and eat the loaves of shoe bread. This was intentional time set aside to be in communion with God. Let's camp on that for that for just a quick second. I love this invitation to take some intentional time out of our day to be in communion with God. Most of us have some kind of a routine or constant thing that we do on a daily or weekly basis. Some people like to work out every single day, and some of us are better at that than others. <laughs> for me, my routine is that on a weekly basis, I meet with my sisters. Every Wednesday, we have a standing appointment with one another. Sometimes that happens on FaceTime, sometimes it happens in person, but no matter what, Wednesdays are our time with each other. You see, when my parents died a few years ago, this time together really helped cement that we were not alone and that we were responsible for each other. And our time together is not always really active. It doesn't mean that we always have a life update or things to share. Sometimes we're just in each other's presence. We laugh, we cry, <laughs> whatever it is, we're just in each other's presence. What I love about this is that no matter what state we're in, maybe we're even angry at each other. This intentional time brings us together and it reminds us all, especially me, that we are loved just as we are right where we are. And so it goes with our time with God too. God just wants to spend time with us and be in relationship with us. He wants to know our hopes, our dreams, our worries, our fears, and just wants us to invite him into that. Jesus came to bring life to us. He came to be a bridge so that we could have a relationship with God and a close friendship too. John 6.35 tells us that Jesus is the bread of life and all those who come to him will not hunger. We're also encouraged to read scripture throughout the Bible because scripture actually lays out the life of Jesus and God's promises for our life. Joshua 1.8 tells us to keep this book of the law always on our lips, to meditate on it day and night so that we might be careful to do everything written in it, and then we will be prosperous and successful. So with that in mind, how can you get to know God more by incorporating his word into your prayer time? Well, here are a couple of tips. First, set it on a calendar. That's right. Even if it's five minutes, Put some intentional time set aside on your calendar, whether that's on a daily basis, weekly basis, whatever it is. Set some time on your calendar where you'll sit with scripture. Second, find a scripture to meditate on, whether that's a chapter of the Bible or a verse, whatever it is. Set some time to read it over and let it sink in and meditate on it. Then you can ask God how he wants you to apply it that very same day or ask God to remind you about what you read throughout the day. Lastly, give yourself some grace. If you are new to this practice, or if you're expanding on an existing practice, all these new habits take effort and intentional time. And God sees your heart and your intention, and he blesses us. Remember, you are loved just as you are right where you are. All right, let's take some time to practice this. Go find a scripture and take some time to pray.